hey there guys welcome welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you just came across this channel my name is Yvonne Candy and I love anything to do with home decor home organizing cooking just anything to do with home and that's the kind of content that I create over here I would be interested I would be interested to have you as part of the family so hit that subscribe button and for all my regulars I want to say thank you for always watching my videos for supporting me we actually got to 100 subscribers and I want to say thank you for that I know it might seem as a small number but for me a uh, hundred of you trust and believe in my content and I can't wish to keep doing uh, more and more uh, actually I'm almost done with my kitchen which means we'll be moving we'll be moving to another room in my house and decorate that with you as well so i want to say thank you for 100 of you thank you thank you thank you and i can't wait to keep growing this family so to get back to today's video uh, a month ago i did a video on uh, my kitchen makeover which i painted i did some um, spray paint also i cleaned my tiles just a home improvement i also put a marble contact paper on my countertops so i'm going to link that video down below if you have not checked it out and you can go and watch and now you can be able to like understand um the whole process so for today's video uh i want to do uh, some decorating because uh, last video I put this contact paper marble contact paper and I want to be able to, to organize and decorate the countertop area so that's what I'll be sharing with you today I was supposed to do it a while back but I didn't because there's some things I needed to have and now I got them so yeah keep watching this video if it's something you'd love to see that everything is laid out I'm going to take you through every piece and tell you where I got it and be the prices and to get started it's over here where I place my choppy boards and the first one it's an old piece that I got from Naivas a while back I don't even remember the price and then the next one it's this beautiful piece that I love and admire so much I got it from a page on Instagram that is called Santana Africa they do and create unique and beautiful pieces choppy boards and other furniture uh, items uh, for the choppy boards they range from 1600 to 2500 so i will leave their instagram handle in the description box below if you're interested to get a chopping board and you can go maybe check them out they have so many pieces and i assure you this is one piece you can keep forever because it's very very strong so I will leave it down below you can I will leave their handle down below you can go check them out and now moving on I have this place this corner where where I put my coffee my tea some water it's more of a breakfast or coffee section area I did a video on this uh, and the tray that I'm using to hold these items I created it myself so I also leave a, a video down below you can go check out how I did this video it's a tile and over here i just have some flowers some water some snacks i have some mandazi that's what we are snacking on and the, the rest it's just sugar coffee some tea bags and now for the tile because it's a tile actually it's rough at the bottom uh and i have a marble contact paper on top uh, on the countertop area and so what i did to avoid the tile from scratching this paper i put some felt pads uh at the bottom these are the front parts that I'm talking about. I got them from House of Leather. So to avoid this tile scratching the, the, the paper, this is what I have at the bottom of the tile. And this being my coffee station area, of course, I have my mats down here. I did a whole video on this, but they're right here. And now, of course, I have my kettle over here. Uh, I feel this is the right place to put it because my coffee area is right here and it's what I use to warm uh, my water and again it's black and white it blends well with uh, my other colors that are going on here and I have my fruit bowl over here it's just a bowl that I got from House of Leather a while back 
and it's what I use to store my fruits. But most of what you always find here is bananas. <laughs> Uh, and then over here, I have a basket that I use to hold my tomatoes. I don't store my tomatoes in the fridge. You can do your research, it's not right to store your tomatoes in the fridge. Uh, so I always mix up the ripe ones and the unripe ones, and I let them sit on my counter. This is what I'll be using for a whole week, and then I purchase more the other week. Now, for this basket, I don't have a place where you can get it because it was a gift. It came holding uh, some gifts inside it. Actually, it was a handle and uh, I broke it to be able to use it now to store my tomatoes. And then over here, I have my herbs and I got them from ShopRite, 100 bob each. Uh, when you walk in, in ShopRite, the one in Garden City, right there at the front, you see the herbs. I got them for 100 bob each. And the plant holders, I got them from House of Leather a while back. They cost me 300 bob each and yeah so i'm trying to maintain them and keep them live i will see how that goes uh, but so far so good yes and then over here oh and then uh let me not forget about the curtains i don't know if you can see them because of the lighting but uh this i got from isli a while back i don't like those kitchen curtains you see those kitchen curtains that are drawn i don't know utensils fruits and all that that are screaming at you just put me in the kitchen <laughs> i don't like those curtains but there are people who do that is okay uh, i'm more drawn into the neutral color so that's why i went with a plain white curtain and yeah it's just a sheer actually it's a sheer so it's cheap and then here i have my utensils rack that uh, is again black and white you see the aesthetics right because i have a black white uh, kettle and the planters are kind of black and white so i wanted to i actually thought of replacing this with something smaller but because it blends well with all the other colors that are going on here i think i'm going to keep it uh, and then on this corner it's where i have my soap and my cloth my dish cloth any, the, all the things that you use, the things that I use to clean my utensils, I have everything on this corner. So yeah, nothing fancy about that. And of course, I got this beautiful uh, rug for my kitchen space. Uh, something that I can step on while cooking or doing my dishes. Uh, this piece I drifted a while back, I don't remember the price. But uh, when you go to like uh, markets like Kikumba or to a market, you find and uh, unique pieces and at a cheaper price so i would recommend you to go to those places you guys have loved the video you have enjoyed the whole process organizing process if you have give the video a thumbs up if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe and actually i'm still working on another video right now which is spice organization but i'm going to share that with you next week so stay tuned for that i can't wait to see you guys next week so stay tuned bye